Whoa! That is a really small little horse. Hello, 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 hello. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back in the bongo today and I'm doing a, a like an update video like a year on from me owning it. Uh, what I've had to do, how I've got it set up now um, and what's good and bad about having the bongo. So yeah, a year, a year on, I've had it through two MOTs because it had no MOT when I got it. Um, got it through, I don't know if you've been following the channel or not. If you haven't, why not? Subscribe below. Um, there's loads of bongo videos that I've been doing um, on just genuinely, ge genuinely, generally, whatever the word is, of just me trying to fix it and make it work and have fun in it. Um, not that there's been much fun had in it yet because I've been fixing it more than having fun. But anyway, I digress. This thing is, to me, like having a lounge on wheels, basically. Um, I've got it set up, it's not finished, it's far from finished. Like you can see here, I don't know if it's in shot, it's probably not. Um, back of the kitchen, it's still like framework. Um, but the front, or the like the back side of it, which you see when you're in the back, uh, is pretty much finished. Um, but yeah, I'm having it set up as like a day van slash camping it if you really, really want to. Not like a permanent camper. Like a lot of them have rock and roll beds, which is cool, but it takes up a lot of room having the side conversion in there and stuff. So you only end up with like a small bed. Um, I'm not really going to camp in it unless I really need to. Um, and if it is, it's only going to be like me if I have to like work away or something and stay in the van then I'll be able to do that. Um, but yeah, so as of like a family, we, we don't need to be camping it. So we just use it for taking it for dog walks, um, going exploring around different places on the Isle of Wight. You've got like a base that you can come back to. Um, we've got the diesel heater in here, so it's always nice and warm if you want it. If it's, you know, like you're out, like today, it's cold and wet, and windy if you want to go out for a nice long walk. You've got a nice warm dry van to come back to with the, the diesel heater. Um, also, we got the little kitchen storage cupboard thing that I've made. Uh, that is really handy for us because we've got like the cooker in there. So if you want to have a cup of tea or make some food, you can. I say a cooker; it's just one of those twenty-pound um, gas hob things. But in fact, I don't think it was twenty quid. I think it was like a tenner. Um, but yeah, anyway, brilliant. Get one of them. Um, what I do want to get is a Ridge Monkey actually. I've seen a lot of reviews about them and a lot of people use them. So leave a comment below if you've got one of them. Um, so I'd be interested to know whether they're worth getting or whether a frying pan is suitable. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, we we use it like for that sort of thing basically. Day banning. Uh, a prime example. So we've got the telly up there. Um, we've got the leisure battery. We've got all the bits and bobs. Um, like that I've put in to make it a bit more comfortable and, and off grid, not off grid because I can't go fully off grid because I haven't got any solar panels yet. Um, but we've got the leisure charging and all that sort of thing. Um, but like, yeah, a prime example is when I finish work. So I, I do like shifts and stuff. So Sam doing an early shift, I'll do six in the morning ish till two. And then my daughter finishes work at work, school at 3 pm. So I've got like an hour. So like, Rather than it's pointless to be going home because I I live here, she goes to school here, and I work there. So when I'm coming back, it's pointless to be going past that school and then back to go and pick her up. So I've got like a I don't know 50 minutes, an hour to kill before pick her up. So we just or I just park the van up, jump in the back, put the telly on, watch a bit of Netflix, a bit of YouTube, Amazon, whatever, whatever's on. Or just chill, you don't have to watch telly, just read a book or whatever. But it's a nice, like, everyone says that's a nice place to be, but it, it generally is. It's like a nice, comfy area, it's warm, you've got, I've got some little blankets back there and stuff, I'll show you in a sec. Um, when we do a walk around in a minute, um, I'll show you the outside of the van and the inside and how I've, how I've done it. Um, but bear in mind, it's, it's still not finished, I've got a long way to go yet. So, yeah. There's plenty to do. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe below. It definitely helps you out because you'll be able to see more videos on Bongos if you care about that. And it helps me out because I get some more subscribers to the channel, which is good. So win-win. Um, 
there is also, actually no, I won't tell you yet, but there's something cool coming to the channel soon. Bongo's not going anywhere, um, but there's something extra, which is gonna be pretty cool. So definitely subscribe below if you haven't. Anyway, with that, let's park up and have a little look around the outside and the inside. I'll just show you, show you what's what. Sound good? Yeah, good. I've just pulled up to this viewpoint up on Braiding Down on the Isle of Wight. It's not the nicest of days, but you can see out there what a nice view. Let's have a picnic on stuff or make a video for YouTube. But it is actually freezing, so while I'm here, I'm just gonna reach across 15 degrees at the minute. I'm just gonna hit that there and put the heating on. So it's a bit chilly. So yeah, anyway, right, let's jump in the back. So yeah, first thing you notice is I've got the rear seat which slides all the way back in this one, not like the some of them that go like fold down. Uh, this one goes all the way to the back. You can tell by the rails that go all the way to the back. Um, I've moved this all the way to the back and I've removed the middle seat because we don't really need it. Um, I've got just a blanket on here just for just for comfort really. Um, got the blinds, uh, the curtains, whatever. That one's not clipped on for some reason. Clips just over there. Um, that normally sits like that and they just draw across and same with the other one so it's like a bit of privacy um, obviously you've got the blinds on the side of the van as well um, which come factory and most of them um, yeah you can you can get in here you can move this wherever you want back forwards up down left right and you can recline this so where you are now I've got the telly up there I can just kick back, relax, watch a bit of telly, wait for the kids to finish school, go while I'm in the car park, wait for them to finish, pick them up, blah, 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 watching a bit of Netflix, etc. So that's that. In the back is just a bit of boot space, there's just a load of junk back there in a minute. Um, but what the plan is, is on the table, uh, the you know, the kitchen thing, I'm going to put on the side like a little fold out thing I don't know what you'd call it like a platform that's not the word but the reason for that is going to be because I've got rid of the middle ones you can put this forward just lift this little lever um, you can fold this back whoa I was expecting that <laughs> stuck but yeah that can then like that and then I can put my foot on the, the little platform thing. This is probably making absolutely no sense but you'll get what I mean when I've done it. But then I can put my feet there and go to sleep. Only for one, like a single bed. But it'll do the job. The other option was to build a box in the back so that you can slide this forward and then use the back box bit as the top part of the bed. So like this, this will go right to the front it clicks right. and then you can just sleep like that so yeah I'm not 100% on what I'm going to do there yet but like I said earlier it's not essential that I have a bed in here it's only like a convenience thing if I'm stuck or something like that I mean I've had in the past oh, I can't get the seat back now oh there you go I've had in the past where like where I live in the Isle of Wight if you miss the boat and you're like coming back from the airport or something or you're, you're away somewhere um, if you're coming back to the boat to get back to the island, I think the last one's at like 2 or 3 in the morning or something. So if you miss that, because of traffic or whatever, then the next one's not till like 5 or 6 in the morning. So that sort of thing is ideal because obviously it's not ideal if you miss the boat. But if you do and things happen, then you can just 
make your bed up and get a couple of hours in the back of the bongo while you're waiting for the next boat. Um, set an alarm clock or something on your phone so you wake up, drive onto the boat, go home. Not everyone's uh, going to have that issue because you don't all live on the Isle of Wight. So, but it's one of those little things for me that would be quite handy. So yeah, that's that. Um, what else shall I show you? So got the diesel heater that's going nicely as I just showed you that's pumping a nice bit of warm air in there it's actually really hot in there now um, while I'm just making this video there's the kitchen still not finished um, because I just life gets in the way um, there is the telly that folds down so a lot of you've probably seen that um, let me just fold that down now I'll just show you what I mean so I literally park up push that up because there's like a, a little push thing so push that up and then it just pulls down like that and there we go that is a Samsung monitor of some sort a computer monitor or something but it also has a TV built into it um, HD TV monitor there you go um, yeah that that swivels goes wherever you want like that sort of thing and um, you can fold it angle it whatever you want to do which is quite handy so you can watch like if you've got a um an awning on the side um and you're all chilling in like the lounge area of the awning bit you can obviously just move that seat forward because it folds over um and you can see the telly from in there if you if you want to watch telly good for kids that sort of thing got the co monitor there carbon monoxide that's uh reading zero at the minute which is good um i've never had a reading on that um because yeah just try to put the uh, diesel heater in properly um look at these guys he's going for it let me slow down a bit now um what else i've got to do some of the future plans i'm gonna redo the floor in here because it's so minging and grubby at the minute i've just got this like rug thing over it but you can see like down there there's like stains on the Oh, are you there? There you go, stains on the carpet um, and stuff like that. It's just fraying in, in areas and there's a tin of bar wrapper there. But yeah, that's that's going to be a future video. Um, got to do that. I've got to finish this because I'm just lazy and I haven't finished it. Um, what else are we going to do? I'm going to be putting remote central locking on it because I find it really annoying um, only having one door that does the central locking so like if you if you've got get something out of the, like the back or the boot like the side or the boot sorry you've got to get it out shut the door then go back around to the driver's door to lock all the doors at once unless you go around and do each one so I'm gonna be buying a kit on eBay I think I saw it um, it's from like a proper company thing it's not like some well probably is some Chinese crap but you wire a little module thing in and it links to a remote and it does all the doors so again subscribe below if you want to watch that because I haven't done it yet but I need to order it and all that sort of thing so we're gonna be fitting that but that's gonna be a lot easier because then I can just like a modern moderner car moderner is that a word just you know remote lock it whatever um, and if you like you're in the house or something you think oh, I've locked the bongo just aim it out the window and beep, done so yeah I'm gonna do that uh, what else am I going to do? I did make some little notes here of things because I'm useless and I forget stuff. Um, and I haven't written that down of future stuff I'm going to do. I did write on here uh, to mention about the swap loom as well. So if you're going to get one or you've got one but you haven't fitted one, get a swap loom. Um, you can buy them pre-done. They're quite expensive for what they are. Um, I just made my own um, with some cable. But you can buy them if you're not electrically able, or is that whatever. You know what I mean. Um, if you're not confident doing it yourself, but it, honestly, it's so easy. There is a there is a video somewhere in the little card up there, and you can watch that. Um, it's just get some cables and just literally putting them behind the dashboard, and then just put them into the fuse board under your steering wheel, connecting them to the fuse board on your leisure battery. So that's all it is. Just watch that video, and you'll, it will make sense. Um, but yeah, anyway, make one of them or get one of them or fit one of them or have someone do it for you. And it makes life a lot easier because like now I haven't got the keys in the ignition, but I've got 
blinds are working, I've got the lights are working, um, other stuff that I can't remember are working, um, chargers, cigarette lighters, um, I've got USB chargers all dotted around here um, for charging phones and iPads and cameras and whatever else you need to charge that's USB. I haven't got a 240 inverter yet because I don't really see the point, I don't think I need one. Um, there's nothing 230 volts that I need to use that's in the van, maybe a laptop charger, um, but that'd be about it. But then I could probably just, I don't know, for the, the money of getting a proper inverter, I might be able to just get one of those, uh, what are they call jackery or something, um, you know, like the, the power bank things, that might be easier rather than wiring in an inverter and then putting a socket in. I don't know, maybe. Maybe in the future I'll put one in, maybe put a socket in the kitchen or something. But other than that, all the electrical needs in this van are pretty much done. Oh, solar panel, that's what I need to get. Um, I need to put a solar panel on the roof. Just because um, if I don't use the van or something, there's, there's little residual current drawers um, throughout, the, throughout the van, so it will use a little bit of power and kill the battery eventually. I'm talking like, three or four weeks or maybe more than that. It hasn't happened yet, but it does lower the voltage slowly. So if I have a um, solar panel, it will just keep it topped up. Or like the minute, the last video I did, I put a, um, a plug-in thing so I can just plug the charger in. But it's a bit of a pain to do that every time. So that's gonna be another plan for the future. Solar panel, get it charging itself. So yeah, but anyway, I think this video has gone on long enough now. It's really, really windy outside. So I can't really do much of a walk around outside to show you what I've done outside, but there's not a lot outside I've done really anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, subscribe below if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.